Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carmen, from Fancy Show Tech. Today I'm doing a video on the Mac app, CyberDuck. It's a really cool FTP client for Mac with a wonderful interface, and also it's free. And it's a really good app. One thing I have to say before opening it is in the Mac App Store, it's $24 for some reason. Why, I don't know. But at the official website for CyberDuck, you can get the app for free for Windows and Mac. So, I think it's just something to do with shareware or something. I can't remember. I read about it a while back. But it doesn't really matter. You can get it for free on their official website. So, I'll just put a link to that in the description so you all can go download it free. So, let's start by launching the app. CyberDuck. That's a really cool icon you can see from the start. And when you open it, it's a good FTP client. Definitely, I'm going to say that right off the get-go. It's FTP, Google Docs. You have support for a ton of things. Then you open it, you get a nice little screen with the server. Like all your servers, all your favorite servers, whatever. What what has you? So you see all your servers, you can connect to your servers, whatever servers you have here. So you see, uh, when you first connect, so let's start by creating a server. Creating a bookmark for a server. It's a bookmark. I'll just create, just to show you guys, a Google storage. It's the same process to fill them out for most of them. Okay, Google Docs. And uh, you can add support for not just FTP. It has support for FTP, FTP SSL, SFTP, WebDev, MobileMe, S3, Amazon S3, Google Storage, Rackspace, Google Docs, and Windows Azure. Because I'm not sure how to say it. Azure or whatever. So select one. I'll select Google Docs. Nickname is the name that comes up there, so I'll call this one just Super PC, or I'll make it Carmen's two thirty six at gmail dot com. Whatever, I have you. And I'll make the username, of course, Carmen's two thirty six. That's to show like what account I have on it, for example. Or I could just put nickname Carmen Shields Google Docs, and it'll come up right here on the bookmark screen, as you can see. It comes up right there on the bookmark screen. So we type in our username, the path, just leave that empty, whatever. And of course, and then on notes, you don't want really to enter anything there, but that comes up on the main screen as well, uh, just for like your reference. So when we want to connect, we double click it, and you enter your username and password. It's the same for FTP or anything when you first connect. If it has a password, you just enter it then. And you check the little add the keychain box and it remembers it forever and auto logs you in. So let's just type my account password, my handy dandy account password. <laughs> and then it'll let me in, authenticate me, and list the directory. I don't have any files up on here, I just have like a few files, I don't know what's here. And then it'll just connect you, you can see your files, what has you. And if you want to, you can download your file, upload files, what have you. I guess I'll download files to show you. And it'll say, it shows you like where a file is on the FTP server and where it is on your in your downloads folder. So if you click that, it'll go right to where it is on your downloads folder. So that's cool. That does that. So anyways, let's close that. And then basically, uh, let's just disconnect from that server. And it, and it works with Google Docs, everything. I have several FTP servers using this application. And it is a very good application all in all. If you just want to quit connecting, just type in, like I think it's, you just type in an FTP server right there. Let's just, uh, I'll try it with one I know works. FTP at Microsoft.com. Just to try it. I don't really want to go to Microsoft.com's FTP server just to show you like how quick connect works. It's just for really quick connections. And open connection is the same as that, except it's slightly different. It lets you make a connection if you like have to enter a username and password or whatnot. But quick connects just if you need to connect to a server real quickly. Of course. And of course CyberDuck is shareware. It's free, but it is nice to donate to them. I haven't donated before, but they are a really they make really good software, so I'd recommend donating. I might donate in the future, because it is good software. And yeah. So all in all this application I'd give it a 10 out of 10 rating. It is a wonderful app for, like, basically an FTP client. It's the best FTP client I've found so far, Windows or Mac. 
and it has support for virtually everything from FTP to like S3 or something to Google Docs. It has really good integration of all of those things. And it has a really cool UI. It has really nice icons for everything, as you can see. It has really nice icons for everything. So, all in all, I'd give this app a 10 out of 10. You can find it link in the description. CyberDuckDuck.ch is their website. You can download it for free there. And there's also a link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. You can follow us on Twitter, Fancy Show Tech. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash fancy show tech. And thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Like the video if you like the review. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.